It's time to go see the Liberty Bell. The main event, let's right? go. Right, the main event. We finally made it to Philadelphia and we have spent the morning trying Philly cheesesteak. We already tried Gino's and Pat's, which we were told had a rivalry. You can actually click the link down in the description or the card up here to watch the video. But for now, we have just been doing a driving tour of like the historic city center. We try and avoid like tourist trappy places, but I did want to see the Liberty Bell and you can definitely see it from the car. So did that check. Now we're going to Reading Terminal Market, which I've heard has tons of delicious food and donuts and stuff. So let's see what we can snack on. Someone's really excited to be in Philadelphia. You know it's bad when Annette says she doesn't want to cross the street here. Is that so? I didn't want to wake up the baby. Oh. <laughs> We've made it to Reading Terminal Market though and it has tons of food. Uh, I'm ready to try some donuts. Somebody said that they had the best donuts in all of Philadelphia. Let's see what they got. Thank you. Oh my God, is that coffee? Oh, coffee. All right, well, it looks like first order business is coffee. <laughs> do we have a happy and awake baby? Yes, we do. Hi. Say hello. All right. To the coffee. <laughs> to the coffee. Walking through, this place is already so cool. There's tons of shops, coffee shops. If you want savory food, if you want sweets, if you want to buy soap or herbs, or I mean, it literally has everything that you can imagine, like a little enclosed open market. Actually, I was reading out in the front that it's been voted as the number one public market in America. So I don't know how true that is, but I mean, I can see why. Small hot cappuccino and a small iced cappuccino, please. Apple Pay has been so easy. I'm a full convert now. Okay. Say wow, Apple Pay has revolutionized our life. Zoom. 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 Cappuccino, mate. Here's a whole cappuccino to feed your addiction. I'm ready for my hot cappuccino, mate. Oh, it looks like Apollo needs one. <laughs> he doesn't need one. This place is massive. They have like literally pre prep food if you're coming on a lunch break. Or if you wanted to buy a souvenir or a t shirt, you can do that here too. Oh, groceries, they've got you covered with a whole entire gourmet grocery store. You want sushi? Hoagies? Did I already mention coffee? Ice cream? Fudge? Gyros? Like it doesn't matter what kind of country food you're looking for, they have it at Reading Mer Terminal Market. Beautiful! What a shame that we just did our Philly cheesesteak review um, and I am so full. Oh my god, so there's a place that sells baklava, which I guess is like a Turkish, Greek dessert. Fun fact, a few years ago, Daniel and I were in Athens, Greece on our very last day and I really wanted to try baklava just because it's something that I had always heard of as a child. Didn't know it had walnuts. <laughs> End up going into anaphylactic shock. Daniel's running to a pharmacy because I had put away my EpiPen because we were leaving. Shenanigans. Never again. To be fair, we asked the old Greek server and he said there was only peanuts and we like triple and quadruple checked that. Come to find out, he just was one of those people that believed allergies are a weakness, according to his other waiter. Okay, literally, Apollo. Look, 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 look. Paolo, that is my cappuccino, Bubba. Is mine. He's like, but it smells so yummy. I'm sorry, but I can't share this. It Not this. It smells so yummy. Caffeine in oh the morning. Oh my god. Sea moss with ginger, lemon, and mint. That's really good because it has 92 of the 102 minerals found in the human body in the sea moss. We also have the hibiscus tea, great for blood pressure, cholesterol, while the baobab has six to ten times the vitamin C of an orange. I want the healthiest one you've got. Well, the healthiest one I have will be the sea moss with fresh That's ginger and right, it has right. no sugar. I yeah, love that. You like that? Okay, yes, man. Perfect. Awesome. So, and apple pay. Apple pay. Yeah, take care of you. Yeah. Oh, Apollo. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I want to go up here since you got your $15 drink. Honestly, <laughs> guys, <laughs> yeah. can we stop mentioning that because I'm actually filled with rage right now. Oh, oh. It was our fault. We didn't ask how much it was. No, pause. <laughs> There are every single flavor except for one listed on the menu. So if you're not from here, you assume that all of the flavors are up on the menu. They say $7. I ask him, okay, which is the healthiest one? And he's like, the sea moss one, which looks just like all of the other ones, except when you get rung up, it's twice the price of all of the others. 
<laughs> so you know, he was really nice. I mean, I'm sure it's very healthy, and I'm sure that the ingredient is expensive and well worth the price. So it now just, this means I can get a $15 It drink. just didn't feel the most forthcoming, you know? So after walking our way around, we realized that this is really a massive market to come and eat, and we are stuffed to the brim. And so this looks like it has a lot of great food options if you're interested in that, but I think we're gonna go ahead and make our way to Penn Station. Okay, we we're gonna go to Penn's Landing, but it's close for construction, so we're gonna see the Liberty Bell. Oh, cross the road. Crossing. Let's go, Apollo Tech, to learn some history. Okay, we didn't get any tickets. We didn't do any research. Hopefully, this is just a walk-in sort of attraction. Oh man, I didn't even think about that. Well, I guess we're about to find out. <laughs> Yay! We're going in. Oh, that is a heavy door. So it's pretty neat. As soon as you get through security, yeah. you're met with like a bunch of pictured uh, and a lot of written information about the bell and the area around it and why it's housed and how it cracked and now that they tried repairing it, made it worse uh, and things like that. So it's pretty cool to like walk around and then enjoy like reading some of the information. But now it's time to go see the Liberty Bell. The Bell-Man. main event. Let's right? go. The main event. The reason why we came here. <laughs> Wow, what a picture. So as we're traveling around the 50 states, and it's actually trying to get a Polaroid in every single state, um, so we're gonna do that here at the Liberty Belt, but this is beautiful. It's so, it was so cool to walk through and learn all about it, and then to see it at the end with like the city hall right behind it. It's very, very well done museum. We came, we saw, we conquered. We saw the Liberty Bell. It's definitely a bell. No, uh, it, it, no really cool it was seeing, cool. Like, such a, historic part of like our country and our independence and, and a symbol for freedom yeah. and liberty which is really cool apparently it didn't get cracked because of anything remarkable it was just made out of a mix of metals and so it was incredibly fragile and so it's been cracked basically since its inception yeah. um and they've tried repairing it but every time they try repairing it it still stays cracked um, but it's apparently been a symbol where the dalai lama has been here tons of presidents have been here and so it was, it was really cool to be able to see that in person. And like really make you feel patriotic when you're staring at it. You're like, wow. America. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. But all right, guys, that is gonna conclude our day in Philadelphia. Thank you so much for joining us on this video. Make sure you give this video a like. Click the subscribe button down below to follow the rest of our adventures around the world and America. And we will see you friends on our next adventure. Bye. Bye. Was, this, was that what all the fuss was about? What are you gonna tell them? What do you want to say? I got a new tooth. I have two now. I'm a big boy. Oh yeah. You tell them. Show them the teeth. Can I see the teeth? Oh, no. Oh, you want to scratch people?